The RUPCO team came to us with a list of things that needed to go into this project. A certain number of units, space for an LPN. But what Kevin then said after he laid out the needs of this project is he said it's important that we do this in a way that is meaningful. And I want to look to evidence-based design. And he handed us a document by the, uh, published by the Center for Active Design, which looked at how architectural design can change people's lives and help them be healthier. Threaded throughout this design challenge is always that underlying thinking about how can we make a healthy, happy, active design that responds to those needs. We are proposing a new color scheme that restores the building to something akin to its original color scheme. Preservation Brief 14. Preservation Brief 14 offers guidance to us and tells us what the National Park Service and all of its scholars have determined is the appropriate way to deal with a historic structure. Woven throughout the guidance from the Secretary of the Interior is an important notion that we do not want to create a false sense of history. It's very important that what we do with additions, adjacent structures, be of their time. So the new building that's proposed, it should not be a copy of the Alms House. When you drive by, when you enter the site, you should recognize that that's a new structure. The new structures don't want to compete with the existing structures.